right. Um, had a hundred plus dollar sale, so I'm going to make a best sale of the week video, and here it is. Um, this bowl. Uh, what is this? A vintage Pyrex ovenware, uh, number 403, two and a half quart yellow stripe milk glass mixing bowl. Sold for $130.50 with one bid. Uh, there it is. That's what it looks like. Uh, let me just scroll through the photos. Uh, Marie, were you the one that, that got the bowl or was it me? I got the bowl. Okay. And when you bought the bowl, did you think anything special of the bowl? Uh, yeah, it's Pyrex. Yeah. But it was in good condition, right? Yeah. Um, kind of nice. Um, we've never seen a striped bowl like this made by Pyrex before. So, you know, uh, it, we had promising thoughts of that it might have value. Um, some of the best Pyrex bowls, this was an auction. As you can see, 18 bids, we started off at like uh, $60. Oh, someone's talking to me. Eh, I'll talk to him later. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we started off at $59.99, and it got 18 bids. It just crawled right up there and, and, and got there. Um, is this the most we ever got for a Pyrex bowl? I don't know if we've sold one before. No, nah, we've sold Pyrex bowls before. I'm sure of it, you know. But I think, I think this is the most we ever got for a Pyrex bowl. Yeah? Oh, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to say it is. I'm going to confidently say it is. Um, when you did your research, because you started off at 60, did you find any other that sold? They probably didn't have this particular size, right? no. They did have that size, and it sold for some. They they sold for like what we sold it for. Oh, so so we were right on par. But people list listed them higher. Yeah. Or they had a set of three in different sizes. Mm. A couple people said it was a rare size, but it's not. Okay. People like to put rare in their title. I think. Yeah, I, I suppose in general, it's better to put rare in your title if because, possible. Because uh, I think that's the biggest of the bowls. There's like two smaller sizes. Oh, it's two and a half quarts? Okay. Yeah, there's okay. A, I think a one and a half and that's, quart. That's where the money one is. One quart or something the, like that. The big know. one. I mean, it does, yeah. usually value goes in in, in size. But a know. lot of times, I think back in the day, people, you know, dishwashers were new and everybody was into using their dishwasher. Yeah. But over time, the dishwasher. Just scrubs the paint right off. Yeah, messes oh. with the paint and stuff. Okay, so you're saying like what we got is kind of what you expected or hoped to get, or right what I on... hoped to get. Yeah. But the thing is, I paid. Um, she the lady Dollars, had a quarter right? pit table, but I don't remember if I paid that or if I paid. I I didn't pay more than three dollars. I know that. Okay, nice. nice. Because I had got a set of Corningware petite pans from her also mm -hmm. and it was a set of six and they were three dollars it's so the weird stuff. i might have got the bowl for 50 cents because nice. if those were 50 cents a piece maybe it was a 50 cents okay table. very good very I don't good know. all right um check your pyrex you know especially if it's a good good condition you know better well, the condition yeah, some pyrex were rare like they have a tulip one i think if that's pyrex and there was a polka dot one. You didn't we just see one that uh, went for a lot of money? It was like a weird pattern. Oh, you were telling me it's a UPC uh, code pattern or something? What? I don't know. Someone told me the scan bar, scan code or something like that. It, it's it like, wasn't me. I never heard that. Okay. <laughs> Somebody told me something about something that looks like a scan bar code. I could have sworn it was you. Was it me? I think it was you. All right, so anyway, um, while I'm here, I might as well go through some of the other things that I sold. And here they are. I sold a Churro Q PlayStation 2 video game that was tested. No big deal. Um, I'm doing well selling uh, games in the 9 to $10 uh, average price and a little bit up that are unsellable anywhere else. Uh, not super valuable games. Just look at this advertisement on my page. Geico's trying to sell me insurance for some reason. Do they know I just uh, paid for insurance or got insurance? I don't know. I got to tell you. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Yeah. But I'll be talking about my knee hurting or something. The next thing I know, I go on somewhere and there's like an ad for knee pain. We should check the house later you know, for like... And uh, wait, I, the ad just changed and I thought it was going to be for knee pain. <laughs> 
<laughs> we should check the house for bugs later, you know, because but that is something that happens. We've started to notice. I mean, that. I understand if I look up something on Amazon, like you know, yeah. I, I've looked uh, knee braces up on Amazon, and maybe that's why I get yeah. these knee pain things every once in a while. Sure, sure. Amazon is probably selling my information and making more money. He's, you know, making nah, more money. No, they won't do that. that. Jeff Bezos. Look, the ads are just scrolling, scrolling through. Avengers, epic movies on Disney. No, I'm not. I'm not getting Disney. I already pay for enough stuff. All right. So anyway, let me keep going. Here's an interesting bull that we were never able to identify. We didn't have it for very long. You ran into auction, did not sell. It wasn't really a bull. It was. A dish. I'm sorry. It's a tray. Yeah, because actually, vintage mid-century modern clear glass face tray dish. Very interesting. Um, almost. I'm not gonna say, but like. Not really Picasso, but just that modernist design. Here, let me just make it big. Um, it was just a weird tray. I Like, in my head, I keep thinking Rosendahl, Rosendahl, Rosendahl. You know, um, like glass. Um, but I don't really know. You know, it's like you can't know everything. Um, I, it couldn't have been Costa Boda or anything like I don't think. But it's, like, it's just that kind of weird modernist design that I don't think is Italian. I think it's more like uh, possibly Scandinavian. I don't know. Um, this was cool. I mean, it didn't sell for a lot of money, but it's cool. So I'll just show it. It was a kind of plastic lucite with a mirror back. And it was a necklace, and uh, it featured King Kong and a bunch of planes flying around. Let me see if you did a close-up. It's not up. old. It's probably from the 90s. No, it says a made in USA, So, but it's not old, but it's still pretty cool. You know? I think yeah. it's cool. But when you bought it, it's like... It, just, it was different. Yeah. You know, I never saw anything like it. It's like, it's got the airplanes flying around. And it's amazing. And well, you know what? Vinca. Like, Is Vinca got, good? It's, well, they make jewelry. Oh, there's that bowl I sold. We were just talking about it. Oh, Jim Shore. Everybody knows Jim Shore. This doesn't even sell for a lot of money, to be honest. Um, but I think I I picked this up or, or uh, we were together, right? The Jim Shore Angel. Yeah, we got that at the same house, I think, with the Pirates Bowl. Okay. Uh, and Probably paid 2 $3. Yeah, this one's musical. And probably we might have paid 4 I, I believe we paid $4 for it. So for 36 sure? For some reason, 4 so cheap. I know, but for some reason, 4 sticks out of my head. You know, and I was like telling the lady, I'm putting in the box, I just, I just, just want to break the wings. You did just recently. You're not oh, confusing the two. You know right? what? I probably am. I, I might be. But whatever, I think we lost like 15 on shipping or 14 on shipping or, or 11 or 12 or something like that. So, I mean, it's not a lot of money. Well, but see, that's the problem because, you know, when, when you start selling stuff it's, that's a little It was heavier. heavy. It was heavy. The package weighed like three mm -hmm. and a half pounds. So, um, yeah. So we lost a lot on shipping. But still, fortunately, we did not pay much for it. If we had paid $10 or $15, uh, you know. Here's something cool. Um I don't know if, if you guys know what kiddish cups are. I don't even know if I can explain kiddish cups. I, I'm not uh, Jewish. Uh, kiddish cups are usually sterling or silver cups, silver plated at the very least, right? Well, actually, this just says hammered metal. And it's stainless steel. It was stainless steel. So aren't kiddish cups always sterling? Isn't that a Jewish thing? Um, that they use silver that for, they like... they only eat out of... They only use silver for, uh, ho like, holy For days holidays, holidays. Well, uh, I don't holidays. know. The Kiddush cup may have something to do with bar mitzvah or okay. something. Okay. I don't know. It's not that the cup that you put the foreskin in, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's after the, that's rude. a bris, right? That's just rude. Okay, all right. I was just being dumb. All yeah, right, so anyway. Uh, these two cups... Each cup came in a nice little flannel sack um, with the name of the person I... But, oh, that, that's what I was looking for. Here's the original individual price of each cup. $90. Uh, um, let me see if I... Any more. 90 freaking dollars. When we bought them at the yard sale, the lady was like, uh, you can just have these for 10 bucks." They were, like, super expensive. No, they were marked 10 bucks. Oh, and she said, she said five. Just, just take them for five. She said they were really. We didn't even ask. She was like, she pointed it out. She said, "Here, see these cups." Did, did I even look at them, or did she go? Did you see those cups or something like that? I don't remember. I don't know. We, I wasn't. I, you know, maybe you or I or either of us. Oh, actually, they're Michael Aram Black Orchid Hammond Metal Celebration Kiddush Cup. I might say, hey Marie, did you see the cups? Are pretty cool, right? 
And then the lady probably said, oh, and she might have had $10. I mean, really, she says, oh, you can just have those for $5 if you like them. Yeah, I knew they were $10 because I took the price tag. No, you're right. You're right. Them. You're right. Um, and I was, and I was like, uh, they're really nice for me. But, you know, it's it's like weird, dumb stuff. Who knows whether to buy it if a seller, you're just buying more dumb stuff. Yeah, right? but for $5. But then you saw the price tag on the bottom, and the lady was going, yeah, they were really expensive. Maybe she didn't buy them. Maybe they were a gift. But you said $90. I'm like, well, $90, you know. They weren't expensive to ship. I probably shipped in priority, but hey, like 75 bucks. And these could have went for more money, you know? Starting uh, bid, 74 99 Yeah, because yeah. some people will uh, put just one up for like $75. Yeah, so whoever bought but actually, them. actually, when I, see, I don't just look what people list no. stuff at because sometimes they're nuts. Yeah, I know. But when I check sold, they've sold for like, 50 60 so, could so you you're like, that's yeah. like you know less than they originally cost sure like so, actually two, there's a hundred eighty dollars worth of cups there so you sold it for about i don't know a third 75 times three is 220 okay well a little bit more than a third uh oh these things um i thought i clicked on october three vintage royal gallery italian murano um swirled art glass christmas ornaments these are really really beautiful um, they're not that old. These are probably no, from, from the eighties, nineteen eighty eight. Is that what I said? Eighty eight. I was gonna say they uh, had labels on them. Okay, I'll show the labels. I was gonna say I thought they were from Macy's. That uh, Macy's had a okay in Manhattan. Macy's had a part of this, so they were in a basement box, right? Or they had something like that. Let me see the labels. No, they were in a box for glassware. No, but didn't the labels? Did you show the labels? Yeah. Yeah, they're right there. there. Okay, it doesn't say basement. For some reason... No. Okay, whatever. The, you're thinking of Macy's Cellar. Yeah, Macy's had... Well, it was their basement, but they called it the cellar, remember? The cellar, yeah. yeah. And they used to sell Christmas stuff in their basement, no, remember? No, the cellar was like all... Household. Pots and pans, yeah. house and all. But you would go downstairs and around Christmas, they had the big trees and the setup. It was in the cellar. No, because Santa was upstairs. They had all the Christmas stuff near Santa. Oh, I don't think so, but, you know, whatever. Does it really matter? <laughs> Uh, does it, does, does, do I have to be wrong? Is that what it's it is? Not, yes. yeah, I don't think I'm wrong. I think you're does, wrong. Does it, but does it matter? Yes. It the doesn't cellar. matter. The cellar is usually in the basement. It was it Macy's attic. Where in the friggin' built? I am where trying. Where in the store they sold the I am not about misinformation. <laughs> if it's a cellar, it's downstairs. Do you know if what? it's an attic, what? They don't care. Uh, they might. No, they don't. If you come to Manhattan, um, Around Christmas, go into Macy's and say, "Where's the Christmas stuff?" And if they say downstairs in the cellar, then I'm right. Okay. It doesn't yeah. matter. It does matter because then they will. They'll go it upstairs. Only to you. They'll go upstairs and go, "Where's the Christmas stuff?" <laughs> they'll be on the main floor. Where's, there's no they Christmas stuff have Santa in, there. in the basement. No, they have the Christmas stuff in the basement because they have the perfumes on the main floor. They have all of the makeup on the main no, floor. the basement was always the house. Clothes were upstairs. I'm talking about the one in Manhattan. Oh, God. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Christmas in the cellar. It doesn't matter. Just And pots and pans. Just proceed. Okay. So anyway, 20 bucks a piece on these. Uh, that's fair. You know, that's that's normal price for those. And having three made it easy to sell. And I, I guess we got multiple bids. What is this? No. I start them at 60 bucks. Oh, here. You sold 62. some kind of bear thing. Is this guy like um, uh, Scandinavian? Tom? No, Alaska. Oh, that because his name is Johans. I don't know. It seems well, whatever. He might, Tom know, Johans, he handcrafted in Alaska. Scandinavian, like Den, from but Denmark. He lives in Alaska. It's like I don't like Denmark. I'm going to Alaska. It's just a weird. But this was actually a pretty cool. Um, where he's like, oh my god. She's doing that thing where you talk low, like so, somebody's been doing lately. Um, what? In politics. Mm, uh, the bear. Whispering. Yeah, yeah. you were whispering. You were talking under your breath or whispering. So anyway, it's a polar bear pin. And it's just a, a square pin. It's got a polar bear on it. An interesting design. It's from Alaska. It's pretty neat. Um, I guess, did the name sell it? Or just probably the name, Tam Johans. Is he famous or something for making pins? Uh, he just makes pins. They don't... I didn't expect to sell it, honestly. Ah, isn't that, isn't that funny? Okay, Italian sterling silver. Here's something that we sold that just, I don't even know how they found this. Italian sterling silver 925 circle with hanging bead lariat wide choker necklace. Uh, here, it's it's pretty, whatever. 
Sold it for $25. Uh, no clue what you paid for it. It's just like an interesting silver necklace. Well, it's got something on it. Probably 925. I think uh, it was Italian. Oh, 925 Italian. Okay. Italy. All right. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, 25 bucks. Whatever. I, don't, I can't even tell you why it sold. I, don't, I can't even tell you how somebody found it. Here's just a small vintage Chinese cloisonne enamel flower design pillbox. Uh, what do these normally sell for? You sold this one for 15 Is that normal? Uh, for that, yeah, because that's a newer one. Okay. What that was is if you go online, there are people that sell sets. Of, they come in sets of six. Yes. And I don't know exactly how old they are. And I think that I'm going to say they're in 90s. Uh, but it's a pretty box. So definitely pretty. You know, yeah. I'm zooming in on it. You know, Here, I'll do that like for a minute. I don't think um, I, I think I had a decent sale. So there it is. It's not it's definitely not old or anything. But for some reason, I think people are into trinket boxes for some reason or pill boxes. You know, they like the figural ones. We've had luck with that. And, uh, oh, here's an interesting sale. I don't know. I, you know, it's a blow. It's that Christmas church. And fortunately, this didn't cost that much to ship. Um, I don't remember what it cost to ship. I think it was like... What the heck was that? Because I was going to say 15, but I was like, I don't think it cost 15. I think it was like 8 or 12. So I said, oh, 15, but I changed my mind. Uh, 51 bucks, six bids. Where did we start it? Uh, 40 bucks. So it went up like $11 in bidding. And here, I'll just show it. People like blow molds. They decorate with them. They collect them. I guess nobody's making them or something. New. I mean, the only blow molds that I know everybody makes new is the pumpkins, right? <sighs> you get the Halloween pumpkins and stuff or whatever. I really don't know. Uh, here's a pair of vintage Japanese Mount Fuji Damascene cufflinks. Pretty neat. $24.99. That's actually gold and silver. Uh, like inlay or whatever. Right, but more like like very light. The the actual cufflinks are like spe specks of gold. And I know. Silver. It's like somebody just rubbed gold on it, pretty much. Uh, um, I guess people like these because they match what? Why do they like these? Is this ladies' jewelry or men's? It's cufflinks. It could be either. I mean, there's not that many ladies. Don't shirts we see damascene pins all the time? So that would be ladies. Yeah, jewelry. but these are Japanese ones. Those are Spain that you're thinking of. Oh, okay. This okay. is Mount Fuji. You see, there's a mountain there. You know, I just think damascene, a damascene, and I think of the the Spanish ones, and and it just didn't cross. You know, I didn't no, connect Japan it to. Made them too. I mean, maybe Spanish people did. Uh, are, were these made in Japan? Yeah. Okay, because maybe Spanish people are like, let's mix it up. Let's throw some, and maybe those, I mean, are the, did it say Mount Fuji? Maybe they're Spanish mountains. <laughs> you got mountains in Spain, right? What's in front of the mountain? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Make it big. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it looks like some kind of, uh, some kind of little. Asian boat. I don't know. It doesn't look Asian to me. It looks like a sailboat. It looks like those Spanish sailboats. No, it don't. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. I, have you ever seen a Spanish sailboat? Have you? Yes. You remember all the Spanish Where? sailboat paintings that uh, from the 70s, 60s? What? The 50s? All the Spanish sailboat paintings. Remember those? You just make shit up as you go. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. Do I really? Yeah. All right. So here we go. Vintage Italian micro mosaic pin and pierced earring set. It was nice that you had a set. Um, are they really a set? No. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I made them a set. Okay, I see. Twenty four ninety nine. That was a buy it now, right? Uh, not listed very long at all. Twenty five no, bucks. No, I put stuff on for a week, and when it doesn't sell, I just put a buy it now on it. A little fuzzy there. And then what? Me shut up. <laughs> Go ahead. So um, you put it on a week. And it sold as when I put it up for uh, buy it now. It just okay. sold. People like, like mosaic, days. you know, it's nice. All right, twenty four and twenty four ninety. Like most times, you can get like anywhere from fifteen to twenty five for a pin, very easy. Oh, this was fun. You know, I had this. I don't even know. I had this just somewhere. I didn't expect to sell that either. There was a lot of them on. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Get out of here. I don't want to. It wants me to download update. Okay. Uh, it's basically a troll Frankenstein. And where did I just found that? I said, shit, it's almost Halloween. Let's get this on. Uh, and, and then you did it, you know, and it sold right away. And actually, I decided to ship. Normally, I don't ship on a Saturday. Uh, this is made by Russ. Normally, I, do you think this glowed in the dark? 
We didn't even try that. Looks like it could glow in the dark. You sure? I don't know. All right, whatever. So anyway, um, normally I don't ship on Saturdays, but I was like, oh man, it's almost Halloween. I'll just ship it on Saturday. I was I was being nice. All right. Oh, um, these glasses. The uh, what is it? Atala. Finland Tapiorkala. They're just uh, these are the smaller ones, two point size. Someone actually bought these, and they said, "Oh, I thought these were the big ones." The big ones are more expensive, thirty bucks. I believe they cost about twelve to ship. We bought these. Were they ten dollars for a set of eight or six? Or we paid seven dollars for eight for uh, five big ones. Okay. And uh, two, four, six, seven small ones. But then I broke one of the small ones. Okay, so five big ones and seven, six small ones. So you were making the small ones uh, thirty bucks. Right? Yeah, I made the small ones fifteen bucks a piece, and I made bucks. the bigger ones. 20 so bucks a piece. for the seven dollars that that you spent. And you found these. You pointed them out to me. I'm like, because I, I hate listing shit like glasses because they're heavy and stuff. But I, I was like, no, they're good. Let's just get them, right? Um, so for the seven, you got three. We'll, we'll sell at $90, right? Well, I sold the, the big two ones, bigger ones. But I'm talking about potential well, profit. Wait, I sold the bigger ones for... 40, right? Or 45. 40 and 60, because there's a set of three. That's right. So about 20 bucks a piece. So 40 and 60, so that was 100. They'll ship it about the and same. And then this one I sold for 30. And you still have two more? And I still have two more sets. Sweet. And basically, we, we lose about $12 on shipping in, on each one. So it's like really good profit for little, little money. All right, let me just keep going. Uh, Disney Stitch, the movie sealed. Look, look at that. 20 bucks. Lilo and Stitch. Inspired a TV show, I believe. Right? Uh, yeah, I think it was. It was animated on Disney. Yeah, uh, tw yeah, they did because... And actually, the, they made the movie to start the TV show because then they had to get all those other aliens, right? Yeah, the TV show, they, every week they found a new alien. That she was supposed to do something with? I don't know. Yeah, me either. It was actually well, a pretty cool they series. they have like, some special power or something? Yeah. And then they found them a job to do to help the world. Yeah, something. something like that. Like, were they supposed to destroy the world? Or something like that? Or, like, fuck shit up? or something? Yeah. yeah, something like that. But, well, anyway, 20 bucks. Can you believe it? I can't. You know, I'm like... <laughs> Uh, but I generally will, will check sealed stuff. You know, if it was not sealed, it might have, it must have been worse. You know what it is? Disney now. Okay. Disney now, uh, you, it's, it's a pay channel. So a lot of people don't want to stream. They don't want to pay. So if they want a Disney movie, they'll just buy it. Even though it's cheaper probably to just pay and have the Disney library. A lot of people do not stream. Vintage, gold, tone, Rao Kiki, kick it. Rao kick it? Click it. Oh, it's a click it, a necklace. So it's a magnetic ne necklace, right? No, it snaps. Snap. Oh, okay. So it's a snap. All right, let me show this. 30 bucks. Um, well, it was cool because... It is cool. You can snap the bracelet to the necklace. See, and make it one long I'm necklace. looking for one that... See the snap? Yeah, that's how it works. It's just a snap. It's from the... 90s? 80s or 90s. Okay. I think 80s. That's pretty. Yeah, it has that kind of Monet-ish kind of... Where they did the gold tone, they did the little plastic jewels, yeah. right, and that kind of stuff. Um, you can kind of date some jewelry, just, you know, they they really do styles. And sometimes what'll mix you up is if they revive certain styles, you know, like in, uh, I believe in the 2000s, I, I'm, no, I'm sorry, like 90s, they started to do Art Nouveau again. Remember a lot of silver designers no, were doing 80s. it. It was the 80s. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember when I did Erte all that was photography. Popular then too. Yeah, that's right, Erte. But I think it made it into the 90s because remember I was doing photography for that, for that guy? Him. Alexander Trading. Alex, remember? Yeah. And I, wasn't I doing stuff for him? Like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Here's a, a little bone Netsuk elephant. 30 bucks. Had a little damage, right? Uh, his other ear was chipped. Yeah, uncertain on age on this one. But you couldn't really, like, see that edge is chipped. Right here. Yeah, right. but you couldn't tell. Follow the arrow, folks. See that little arrow? That's where it was. It was not noticeable. I think at 30 bucks it was a steal. I mean, for the work and whatever. But it's hard to sell bone. Yeah, yeah, eBay. yeah. Um, eBay doesn't like when you sell bone anymore, so whatever. 
Um, I think probably if we went to the right market, we could have got 30 bucks. For Here's a BS sale. ESPN Winter X game snowboarding 2002 PlayStation. Not a game that you would think would be worth more than a few dollars. It isn't really worth a lot of money, but it sells on eBay for $10 and I can't sell out of flea market. Another little trinket box. Um, this one is a Russian and it's a finift. Is finift a style or is it a signature? Vintage R Russian finift. That's just what they call those enamel. Oh, is it? Uh, is it enamel or is it's it? Enamel. It's enamel. not porcelain. It's painted enamel. See, it's even signed. Enamel on porcelain. Yeah. Okay, it's that's signed. That's... No, I don't. I don't think it's on porcelain. I don't know. Okay. Or but ceramic. But it's signed. I see it. I'm showing. I'll, actually, I'll, I'll just do the pictures. Um, is that what these generally sell for? I could not find another trinket box. I only see pins. Oh. And this thing is, is it's a trinket box, but the top can be worn as a pin. Isn't that... Uh, See? Huh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Very nice. Okay. All right. Let me get out of here and get out of there. Uh, 25 bucks, one bid. If it didn't sell, would you have made it $25, buy it now, or would you raise it to 30 No, I would have left it there. I'm okay. Just, like I've told you many times, I don't want to hold on to this stuff. I, I don't want to be I a agree. storage house. I, I would have flipped I, it. Well, you know what? I paid $2 for it. Here's the thing, right? Now, when you say that I don't want to be a storage house, it's it's a it's about the size of a uh, Matchbox car. I don't care. <laughs> so you could store a lot of twenty five dollar Matchbox cars in a small uh, amount of space. All right, uh, another no, vintage. What happens is that when you store too much stuff, stuff gets lost. Stuff Not me. Gets... I have a system. Remember? Yeah, I have a system too. I'm organized, so you know I don't lose shit. All right, vintage Italian micro mosaic pin brooch. I was actually talking to AJ and another person about how they just lost something. They can't find AJ all the time, right? And I say, here's what I do. Of course, nobody ever listens to me. Because you always lecture everybody. And it's like, not oh, a lecture. Look, I'm just telling you. It's not a lecture. If I say, here's what I do, it's not, here's what you should do. What it is is you throwing <laughs> out there that you're better than everybody. And they no. Do what you do. It's just, I'm saying what I do and it works for me. Your, uh, the system that they have doesn't seem to work for them. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. My system is like, oh, I know where it is, and I find it. So that's my system. If people don't want to do my system, fine, whatever. I have mine organized by I'm not section, talking about you. I'm jewelry, talking about other people. Types of jewelry and... Vintage Italian micro mosaic pin brooch with flora, flower design. 25 bucks seems a reasonable amount, a blah, 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 reasonable amount to get for a pen like this. Yeah, anything special about it? Eh, it's an older one, actually. Not super old. This is probably, what, a 60s one? Mm. Yeah. The oldest ones will say Italy on the back. One like that. Oh, no. no. Oh, this is the one I just talked about, how it was canceled. $29.99. The guy bought it, and he was like... Oh, I thought it was going to be the bigger glasses in order. You know, because the bigger glasses sell for more money. The guy didn't read the size. Another little trinket box. Uh, 20 bucks. You see these at yard sales? Oh, and this one's a Boyd's Bear. Uh, let me just click on it. You see these at yard sales, whatever. Normally, you see these little trinket box for five or less at yard sales. Uh, and the interesting ones, pick them up. Put them on eBay, sell them for 20 bucks. You know Anything colorful? Yes. Anything figural? Cat, cats are popular. Which ones should you not buy? Like um, just the cheapo china ones? Or... Yeah, the ceramic ones. Like they make these blue and white china ones. Disney ones do well. Yeah. Okay. Cloisonne ones are good. Mosaic yeah. ones are good. Yeah. Uh, Disney ones are good. Yeah. Um, oh, remember enamel these? Enamel ones are good. Yes. Like stuff made like those earrings. The Warner Brother ones I had were good. Yeah. Now see these earrings. What what did everybody keep bothering you to do for with these earrings? For two years now, or over a, no, for about a year. Right. It's probably the same lady. She Could only be. wanted to buy the birds. Someone only wanted to buy the birds. And what did I have them for? Uh, twenty twenty eight ninety nine. So you buy would you them separate, and then you could resell would, yeah, them. Yeah, like leave me alone. I mean, just buy it. I'm not going to just break up the set, sell you, and then have to re-listen and do extra work. You know, because what am I going to sell the other set for? Like. 
You know, and first of all, automatically, well, what do you want to pay for it? Are you willing to pay 20 bucks? Oh, no, I want, I'll want. i pay 14 bucks. Well, see, as it is, I, w I wanted to get 20 bucks for the birds because I thought those were nice. The, they were and the nice ones. for the other ones. Which exactly, are lit, exactly. You know? So, like, leave me alone. And then and then we make less money because now if they only add up to 28, we're paying 4 or $5 in shipping boats. I was like, no, buy it. If you don't want to give it to somebody, sell, sell it yourself, leave me alone. Uh, mustache aftershave lotion. Mm, Marcel Rocha, Rocas. Paris Splash, probably 105. I didn't, there wasn't a sign. It's just a cologne mustache. Only a $26 bottle of whatever. Oh, here's one thing that I learned now about colognes and perfumes. eBay changed the rules again. Why? I don't know. Um, you can't sell used perfumes. Uh, this is grandfather's and, and colognes um, on eBay in in this in the let me find the category in health beauty fragrance and fragrances anywhere you have to do it in kind of collectible perfumes um, whatever you know I don't I don't know what's the differences why they they made that change you know. But they did. So I actually, I've got to get around to listing a bunch of perfumes. All the perfumes you see me buying all the time, I'm going to get around to selling probably over the holidays, you know. But right now, I'm, i got to get around to it. But eBay, like, one minute, I'm going, I'm all hunky-dory, whatever, thinking I'm going to be listing them. And, and then the next minute, somebody's telling me how you can't sell perfumes on eBay. And we're like, what? You know, and, and this is this is the kind of thing, eBay, that makes Macari bigger and and other companies that compete with you because when they go oh i can't sell it here i'll sell it on facebook marketplace i'll sell it on Mar uh, macari i'll sell it on etsy and then all of a sudden you're going like gee how come we're not making as much money you know but whatever that's that's my ebay rant uh, on this particular uh topic vintage denmark sign e dragstead sterling silver and enamel feather pin a very pretty pin 50 bucks when you bought it um, what did you think we were going to get? Like probably 30 to 50, right? What? I'm not listening to uh, The flower, the enamel flower one. The, the, the feather? Denmark. Yeah. Fe is that what it is? Fe yeah, feather. It's Denmark? It is. E drag stack. And what are you asking me now? Um, when you bought it, did you think you'd get 50 bucks for it? Uh, I was pretty sure I should get that. Well, normally you think you get like 35 or so. Like especially... No, because they're Denmark and it's sterling. Yeah, but and it's, it's just enamel. a... It's a feather, though. It's not like, you know, something cool. Then don't yeah. ask me. If you don't, you know, it's well, like... Well, uh, what I'm asking like you... asked you, me my opinion. I didn't I ask your opinion. I told you my opinion, and now you tell me I'm wrong. No, I'm just asking you so... if you thought... If you immediately said 50 bucks in my pocket, boom, just like that. Or if you thought, um, you know, it's at least 25 to 30. That's what I was asking you. All right, vintage Taxco, Mexico, sterling silver, ninety-five eyeglasses spin brooch. Did we have? You know, most of the stuff that's sold here, I don't believe we had for a long time. Yeah, you just listed this. Um, this did not sell at auction, so you listed it. It didn't sell. Did you raise the price? What? The eyeglass pen. No. So you just uh, didn't sell. Uh, put it right back on. Twenty-five bucks. Not bad. But it was cool because it's shaped like eyeglasses. Who would wear pins shaped like eyeglasses? I don't know. I don't care. Maybe an obstetrician or something. Uh, 